Nazi free. Dear Mr. President Obama, dare I dream that you would watch this video before or even during your historic trip to Cuba, where you're going to meet with that dictator Raul Castro to discuss the human rights abuses still going on over there? Good Lord. Is your head just for keeping that stupid hat on, you insolent fool? Do yourself the honor of turning off that camera and ending this churlish charade before you make a further ass of yourself, as if that were even possible. Lefty, why you always gotta put me down like that, bro? I'm not your sibling. Whatever, man. I'm trying to send a message to the president, dude. I wanna see if he can ask a few extra questions while he's over in Havana that some of us in the Cuban exile community would like to know the answers to. Oh, governor, drop it already. You weren't even born in Cuba, let alone live there. What could you possibly know about the actual needs and demands of the Cuban people? Thank God if I actually believed in one. But I wasn't born in that socialist tropical gulag. And I'd have to pledge allegiance to that other despicable sociopath while wearing a stupid red scarf. Yo seré como che. The hell I will. No. Instead, you had to pledge allegiance to your stars and stripes, and under God no less. And you weren't even born in this country either. What's the difference? The difference is, my family wouldn't have been reported and humiliated by the neighborhood Comité de Defensa de la Revolución for not pledging allegiance to that douchebag. They might have put my parents into forced labor before they exiled them, but at least they didn't get their grubby claws on me and waste a single second of my precious childhood in one of their little brainwashing summer camps that the Cuban youth were required to attend by law. That's why I'm proud to say that I grew up as a Yankee Doodle dandy, as a Yankee Doodle boy. Oh, you and your nightmarish nationalistic fervor. What makes you think you have any useful answers to this dictatorship you so gleefully excoriate? I don't have answers. I've got questions, you limey Brit. Hey man, what's your problem? I meant that as a compliment. That's why I brought you on, to see if you'd help me elevate the tone of my show by talking like that Monty Python guy. Do realize that Monty Python was actually... Oh, never mind. Perhaps I should tone it down like Benny Hill. Yeah, I like him better, especially with all those hot chicks in the background. But of course. Let's just get on with it, governor. Okay. Ask Obama, but like in a British accent. <clears throat> Yes, Your Highness. I'm sorry, uh, President Obama. First question. Considering all the free education the Cuban people have received and their much lauded literacy rates, why hasn't there been one single Cuban eligible to run for president, especially since Fidel Castro had promised he was going to usher in a representative democracy well over 50 years ago? Okay, next question. <laughs> yes. 20 years ago, President Fidel Castro... Hey, hey, don't call him president, okay? All righty then. The bloodthirsty, murderous monster. Are you happy with that? Yeah, that'll do. The tyrant, Fidel Castro, signed the 1996 Viña del Mar Declaration, where Cuba and many other Latin American nations committed themselves to respect representative democracy and freedom of the press. Why wasn't that agreement duly honored? Hmm. Interesting question. Thanks. If you like that one, this next question from a gay relative of mine is a doozy. <laughs> Apparently, this one is personally regarding Raul Castro. Why has your government so forcefully persecuted and incarcerated so many homosexuals in Cuba since there's always been a rumor? What rumor? Uh, <laughs> oh, I will not repeat that. Ah, oh, come on, Lefty. Ask him in British. It'll sound fancy. Oh, right. Since rumor has it that you are a flaming, blazing, salami-craving, fudge-packing queer. Oh, I, I am through with this boorish line of questions, and I will ask nothing further. I am terribly sorry, President Obama. I've been held hostage by this masquerading miscreant who is deluding himself to think he is embodying the American dream by making these fatuously flippant videos. Good day. Hey, hey, where you going, bro? Just got one more question. I am not your sibling. Guess I'll have to ask it myself. Uh, Mr. President Obama, when are we going to finally eliminate this travel ban, which is an outright violation to one of our most basic freedoms in this country? I thought we were supposed to set the example in the world as the land of the free and the home of the brave. But I know that's not your fault. That's a long time coming. Actually, it's a two-part question, though. 
Once we do lift the travel ban, without any regulations or restrictions, will people like myself, who are outspoken critics of this heinous regime, be able to visit our families over in Cuba without any fears of reprisal? But whatever, man, look, I'll admit, that's a pretty selfish question, especially in comparison to the truly pressing questions I hope you will get to ask and be asked by the actual dissidents in Cuba, who desperately need all the help they can get to finally remove that oppressive yoke of tyranny that's been forced on them for over half a century. Oh, do shut up, you pompous git. No one's gonna watch this stupid video anyway. Yeah, you're probably right. But just in case, thanks for watching. And God save the queen. Oh, charming. Homegrown.